okay, we're having a problem with this seat belt where no matter what we do, it won't come out. So my son's rigged up this thing to keep it from going in. But now we're gonna take these T50 Torx bits out and there's another one or two down here. We'll find them. And then we're gonna put in a new seat belt. Okay, second one is the same size and it's right down there we just took it out take some cranking with the breaker bar and then you can get it off with an impact hammer or something like that so now we're going to pop this off which was basically just lift up and out of there and with that we've got this old crappy one out now this new generic one we got does not fit in the oem part of the seat belt there so again there's another torx bolt right there that we're going to take out annoying as this is that one that bolt is a t45 so you have to switch from your t50 for these other two to that okay we're tightening the bottom and the top and then there's even a little cover that just clips on there we go make it look a little better and we're using the bolts it came with and what do they take? What size socket is that on there? Okay. They take a 16 millimeter. Now, I just broke off this little clip and I'm gonna slide this off and we're gonna see if we can use this, this uh, metal frame to hold up a replacement part because it's just floppy and that's gonna fall down behind the seat and be hard to get to every single time. It's not moving. Okay, so this just slides off and then we've got the seat belt button that goes in there and I think we're going to just cut it off right there and then stick the seat belt out by it. Okay, we're feeding the new the new seat belt buckle through that thing and then we're going to add this little thing to uh hold it in place and I'll go buzz it off. Real quick. Okay. Cut that off the top part of the old buckle. Then I sanded it down with a file so there's no sharp edges. But then just to be careful, I put some electrical tape over it and we'll see if that, see how long that lasts to protect the, the actual seat belt. Okay, now we've got the little frame and the buckle all in there. It's still going to be floppy at the top, but at least it'll be where we want it. Now that bolt hole is too small, so we're going to end up using the Torx uh, bolt that came with it originally. So that's how that'll look. So we have a little bit of flop here at the top, but at least it won't go too far. Now we're gonna try it out. Okay, here's our first try. Okay, pull it tight. Pull it tight. Now yank it out. Out. Yeah, fast. Slow. Faster. There we go. Okay, good. It works. 